this is Tommy Watt for IFL TV and T2T Boxing Association with Fight Callout. I'm joined by two co promoter Dean Lonergan, ahead of the Manny Pacquiao Jeff Horn fight. We're here at Pacquiao's media workout. How are you doing, mate? I'm doing very well. I've got to say, I feel very privileged to be interviewed by ILTV, right? IFL. You're the dudes, IFL. You're the dudes who chase Eddie Hearn around. And it turns out Eddie Hearn's got a sense of humour. Yes. And a personality, which watching on TV you wouldn't pick it. But when you're watching, <laughs> I'm like, I only have you on, Eddie. The, uh, I think it's been a great little innovation. I've, I've really enjoyed watching some of the stuff Eddie comes out with. I can't do the impersonations, and uh, I don't know if I've quite got the personality, but I'll do my best to project. Yeah, well, if you, uh, you know, you've got well, a big crowd ahead of you this weekend. If you can get even half that crowd to boo you, I'm sure uh, Eddie will be impressed. Yeah, well, there you go. That's why I don't go in the ring, because no one boos me there. You know? <laughs> we'll need to, need to build that up. But... And this has been a huge event for Australian sport, never mind Australian boxing. Talk me through sort of how much work's gone on in the back end to make oh, this happen. It's been sort of seven or eight months putting it together when we first mentioned this with Bob Arum at top rank. And uh, it came down to, actually, Eddie's actually quite involved in this event in a way you never expect. I was negotiating with Eddie to have Joe Parker fight um, Anthony Joshua. Yep. And what happened was, Klitschko was fighting Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, unfortunately, a little bit mad and got stripped of his title. And then Eddie said, well, I don't want to fight you anymore. I'm going to go and fight Vladimir Klitschko. So we put the deal together that we saw only a couple of months ago that fight happened. It would turn out to be the right thing to do. Yeah. So in the meantime, I went and grabbed Bob Arum and said, your guy's number three, Klitschko's number two, and we're number one in the WBO, and Tyson Fury's back cut it. How about we do a fight with uh, Andrew Ruiz versus Joe Parker? At that stage, we met Bob Arum, and I talked about Jeff Horn. And uh, Bob says, no, 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 Horn's got to eat. No one knows who he is. He sees Horn fight, and all of a sudden, here we are six months later in Brisbane yeah. with 46,000 tickets sold, hoping to get to 50,000. Massive event in Australian boxing history, a massive sporting event. And I think this will be one of the great sporting events in Australia this year. And I think we're in line to see Jeff Horn become a global sporting superstar number one and Australian sporting icon number two and the brand new WBO. World Worldweight Champion on July 2. Yeah, absolutely. And, and say, like I say, it's massive for Australian sport and particularly for boxing. You know, not often that boxing gets into the news or onto the main headlines, but we've seen that with Joe Parker and now with Jeff Horn and so the work that you guys are doing over at, at Duco. Um, how far do you think Jeff Horn can, can go? Look, at the end of the day, I'm only thinking of July, to July 2. But if you think, mate, he could become massive. You know, he could become a big superstar in, in the USA out of this simply because this is going into the ESPN platform, as everyone knows, yep. into 90 million homes, potential audience, I don't know, five, six million people. And if Jeff performs how we think Jeff will perform, mate, he's going to become a, you know, a boxing superstar overnight. He's in against a legend of the sport, what, 11 world titles and eight different weight divisions. He's heading to the Boxing Hall of Fame. Manny Pacquiao is about as big as it gets in the world right now, especially in worldwide world boxing. So. This is something I think Australian boxing and Australian sports have been crying out for. The fact that we've sold so many tickets and we get so much media coverage is a fair indication that um, you know, it's gone down well. Um, you know, hopefully this is the start of many, many good things to come. Well, fingers crossed. Look, great event that you've been put on here. We look forward to the rest of the week and obviously the fight on Sunday. I'm sure we'll catch up with you in between now and then. And what I will say is this. I've got a long way to catch you, Eddie, because you go down good on camera on these things. <laughs> we'll get you next time. Thanks, Dean.